Kimberly Allen, I have got the joy of having Mark Patrick with me. For those of you who are listeners of ours, I know you've heard about the seminars that are going to be coming Wednesday, July the 15th to Hopkinsville area, the Comfort Suites, Harvey Way in Hopkinsville. We're going to find out a little bit more, though, from Mark about what the seminars kind of are all about. A lot of people always have questions, Mark. I'm sure you get that all the time. But you're doing two different seminars. Let's talk a little bit about the first one that's going to be from 530 to 730. It's your weight loss seminar. Yes, that's correct, and thanks for having me on. The oh, first yes. thing I want to cover is how hypnosis works, whether yes. you're coming to our weight loss or stop smoking. I think most people's perception of hypnosis is what we see on TV or in a stage hypnosis show where you see people barking, fucking, <laughs> doing crazy, silly things. Most people aren't even sure if that's real or not. It is real. That's called stage hypnosis. Mm-hmm. We actually, let me show you how simple hypnosis is to get into. We actually do it every day of our life. We don't call it hypnosis, but mm-hmm. it is a state of hypnosis. Every time you drive in your car for a long distance and you zone out and you don't remember the last 30, 40, 50 miles that went by like a blink of the eye, that's a state called highway hypnosis. Every night before you go to bed, your brain shuts down, enters into the alpha state of brain activity. It's classified mm-hmm. as a hypnotic state without getting over it. You're in that state in the morning before you're fully conscious. So it's something we do all the time. So all we do in our programs is get people back into those states Mm -hmm. so they can start correcting some of the habits they want to in the first place, whether it's weight loss or becoming a non-smoker. It's that simple. When it comes to weight loss, Mm -hmm. look, most people go on diets, and 95% of people that go on a diet end up gaining all the weight back. And it comes down to a couple of simple things that we teach and we reinforce with hypnosis in our program. It, and it comes down to one simple thing, mm-hmm. our internal snapshot or view of ourself. And let me give you an example. If we have an internal snapshot that's been shaped for us as we've been growing up, and we have this internal image of being overweight, and we actually reinforce so we can tell what our snapshot is with our self-talk. So here's what happens. We go on a diet, mm-hmm. but now we have this little internal chatter or self-talk that's telling us this. You know, I hate exercise. I'm not motivated. I'm lazy. I'm a couch potato. I'm a carboholic. I'm a junk food addict. I'm a pop addict. And here's what happens. We go on a diet. We start losing some weight and getting some results and inching forward. And all of a sudden, we gain all the weight back. Why? Because all those behaviors are taking us against our image mm-hmm. of ourselves. So it's sending all these kind of emergency signals, fear, doubt, pain. Yes. So one of the things we do during hypnosis, especially for weight loss, is this. So under hypnosis, we get everybody visualizing themselves six months from the date of the seminar as a slimmer, healthier person who is already doing these behaviors in hindsight. Now, when they come out of hypnosis, give an example, a real-life example, buffets, one of the biggest problems. Now, instead of going to a buffet and fearing to overeat, here's what happens. Imagine going to a buffet, focusing only on the healthy foods, not even aware of the unhealthy foods, because they're below your awareness level, mm-hmm. eating smaller portions and doing this subconsciously without even having to concentrate on it. And that's one of the things we do during our weight loss session. You're, you're more or less kind of like, not reprogramming, but helping them to make those subconscious decisions on their own. We work on an internal snapshot or image. If okay. your image is that of a slim, healthy person, you're going to attract slim, healthy person habits. Slim, healthy people eat unhealthy foods, but they... When they get off on track, they get back on track mm-hmm. to the slim, healthy personality. When a person gets off track, if they have an overweight belief system, they tend to diet and then go back to the overweight belief system. I know it sounds crazy. Yeah. It doesn't really make rational sense. How, how is an internal talk or a view of myself going to help me lose weight? Well, it, it does it automatically. It's that simple. Wow. Now, how do you approach the stop smoking? Because that's a little bit different. Yeah, let me talk a little bit about smoking. If you're a smoker right now and you're evaluating whether or not to come to this program, here's the the deal. Smokers will tell you this. They love to smoke Mm -hmm. even though they know it's killing them. And I'm not one to give you this kind of fear and rational about how bad smoking is. Every smoker knows that. But Mm -hmm. what happens is once upon a time they got pleasure from smoking. So one of the things we do during the hypnosis session is this. We use a technique. It's called aversion therapy. And what we do is we associate at the subconscious level the thought, the pain, disgust, the smell, or the the taste of tobacco will become incredibly repulsive to them. The second Mm -hmm. thing we're going to do under hypnosis is this. We're going to take all the scenes that you might smoke right now during Mm -hmm. the day, that cup of coffee in the morning, that break at work. 
walking out of the building, having stress, finishing a meal. Cocktail, if that's something you do and you, ha- and you smoke, and we're going to interrupt those patterns and break those mental connections and put you back into the scenes under hypnosis as a healthy non-smoker. Now when you come out of hypnosis, here's what happens. You'll have the image of a healthy non-smoker. You'll break all those behaviors in. The thought and the taste of tobacco will be incredibly repulsive to you. Just to kind of give a little testimony, I have a cousin who smoked constantly for 14 years, and she's gone through this program. She no longer smokes, has no cravings for them, does not want them, and she said, I'm, I'm healthier for it. She said, and I feel so much better, and she's, it's been now about 10 years since that and she's not had any not gone back at all and it just amazes me how that works but it does make perfectly good sense well you know a lot of people uh, know someone who, like you do mm-hmm. who's gone to a program for hypnosis for stop smoking years ago and has stopped as a matter of fact I, I never disguised the number one way to stop smoking is a heart attack survivor and I don't say that to cause any type of stress mm-hmm. or fear um, but the number two most effective clinically proven way is hypnosis. Wow. And that's really cool. Well, we're excited because you're going to be in the area next Wednesday, July the 15th. It's going to be this um, weight loss seminars from 530 to 730. The stop smoking is from 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock. So if you work during the day, you can still make these seminars. You can pre-register right now at whvoradio.com or wkdzradio.com, and then they can pay that day. And you take all forms of payment for these the particular seminars. Yes, that's correct. And the great thing is, is maybe you're struggling a little bit with both. You can actually do both. You can go to one, then turn around and go to the other. Have you had people who have done both in one day? Absolutely. And it's a, the greatest gift you can give yourself and your family is an overall health makeover so that you not only stop smoking, but you can get on track to not only maintain your weight as a non-smoker, but actually lose weight if that's what you choose to do. Exactly. Wonderful, Mark. Well, we thank you so much for being with us. Is there anything else that I might have overlooked that we need to kind of make sure that we know about for for Wednesday? Is there yeah. anything particular they need to bring or anything like that with no, them? No, I just want to touch on one thing. Sure. You know, we have a few people that are sometimes skeptical. And, you know, if you're a little bit skeptical, uh, here's what I found, and I want to share this with you. Mm-hmm. Some of my best clients are the most skeptical people. And typically what i found is a skeptical person is a little bit more of an analytical personality. Sometimes people mm-hmm. who are teachers, engineers, people in law enforcement tend to have a highly analytical personality. One of the things is we do during our program is we teach that type of personality how to get a good session so they can get some results with this thing. All I ask is this, come if you want to live a healthier lifestyle with an open mind, and we'll teach you what to do to get this thing rolling for you. Well, thank you so Mar- so much, Mark. We sure do appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule. And we look forward to seeing you on Wednesday. Find out all the details. We've got it for you at WKDZRadio.com and WHVORadio.com.